Welcome to the welding technology course. The course code is uh, PR8592 and this is a professional elective subject for the regulation 2017. So here we'll be studying about uh, unit 2, the resistance welding process. So you have different types of uh, resistance welding process, namely spot welding, seam welding, projection welding, resistance butt welding, flash butt welding, percussion welding, and high frequency resistance welding processes. And you will be studying about uh, the advantages, the limitations, and applications of uh, each and every resistance welding process. So here in this slide, we'll be uh, studying about the introduction to spot resistance welding. So normally spot weld is uh, probably the most common type of uh, resistance welding. And here the material to be joined uh, is placed between two electrodes and pressure is then applied and after that the current is uh, switched on. And here you have three stages uh, uh, in this welding cycle. The first stage is the squeeze time and second one is the weld time and the third one is the hold time. So the rule of uh, spot welding goes like this. Uh, the spot welding is uh, uh, primarily used for joining parts uh, that are having thickness up to 3, 3 mm. And in joint having a member as heavy as uh, one inch, the bulk of uh, resistance welding is confined to metals uh, that are less than uh, one fourth uh, inch in thickness. So the spot welding, you have two types like a single spot welding machine and uh, multi-spot welders. So uh, this uh, figure shows the difference between the single spot welding machine and the multi-spot welding machine. And here in the single spot welding machine, you have a, a only a, a pair of electrodes, whereas in the multi-spot welding, you have um, more number of uh, electrodes. So the single spot welding only uh, one spot is being welded, but in multi-spot welding at the same time, uh, you can uh, have as many number of uh, weld joints. So single spot welding, uh, two types of single spot welding machines, one is the rocker arm and the other one is the press type spot welders. So here in the rocker arm spot weld machine, it is a simple machine and it is a most commonly used and it has the two long each holding a single electrode with the upper arm providing the moving action. So this you have the upper arm here. So this provides the moving action that is you can apply pressure. So the mechanism here is the rocker arm and the metal to be welded is placed, the sheet to be welded is placed in between these electrodes. And by use of this rocker arm mechanism, you are applying pressure uh, on the electrode. And uh, after that, you are, uh, the current is switched on and you are maintaining the pressure till the weld is formed. So here in the press type spot welders, you have a movable electrode and you have the welding head which operates in a straight line. There's a moving head, which, a welding head which operates in a straight line. And this have a greater application in welding heavier sections. So heavier sections can be welded with this uh, press type uh, spot welding machine. And the heat application. So here the welding period in spot welding is controlled by electronic, mechanical or manually operated device. And here the welding time may range from one half hertz cycle of a 60 hertz cycle frequency for light material to several seconds for thicker plate. So weld time is very much important and the temperature much, must be high enough but not so great uh, for this welding. So th these are all the techniques uh, for securing better heat balance in spot welding. So here in the for diagram A, you have high conductivity alloy material and low conductivity alloy material is placed uh, in between the uh, two electrodes. 
So you have a smaller diameter electrode at the uh, top and the larger diameter electrode at the bottom. And the second diagram, you have a uh, electrode of high pressure is applied uh, from the top and you have a smaller diameter electrode at the bottom. And the diagram, third diagram, you have a thicker high conductivity material. And you have uh, these materials is placed, these metals are being placed in between the two electrodes and pressure is applied from the top electrode. And you have the condition A as, so smaller electrode on high conductivity metals and larger electrode is used on low conductivity metal. And in condition B, using high thermal resistant electrodes on high conductivity metals and you can use a high thermal resistance electrode on tungsten on molybdenum metals. And in condition C, the increase in thickness of the higher conductivity metals better secure heat balance. So this is a heat balance and you have here as R2 and R4 are the conductivity of metals and R1 and R5, R1 and R5, the conductivity between surface metals and electrodes and uh, we have R3 is, is the conductivity between the joined metals. So RW is R1 plus R2 plus R3 plus R4 plus R5. And you have different types of electrodes uh, depending upon the phase. So you have a flat phase and you have a dome shape and you have an eccentric shape electrodes and trunk, truncated electrodes and uh, radius types of electrodes. So these are all the different types of electrodes which you can use for the spot welding. And primary functions of the electrodes. So the primary functions of the electrodes are to conduct the required heat to the weld zone and to transmit the necessary force to the weld area. And it also helps uh, the dissipate the heat from the weld zone. And here the most of the electrodes uh, which are used in spot welding are made of uh, low resistance copper alloy. And this is the multiple spot welders which, which has a series of uh, hydraulic, hydraulically or air operated welding guns. Uh, these are all the welding guns which are hydraulically or uh, air operated mounted in a framework or header but using a common mantle or bar for the lower electrodes. So this is a type of uh, multi-spot welding machine. And here in multiple spot welding, the lower electrodes uh, consist of a mandrel. This is a mandrel. And uh, you have uh, separate electrodes on the top. So pressure is applied. And uh, after that, uh, the current is switched on. And this pressure is maintained for a certain time and this power is switched off until a solid weld is obtained, spot weld is obtained at the junction of two metals to be joined. And this is the resistance spot welding. And this is widely used in industry for joining vehicle body parts. So here you have an upper electrode and the lower electrode. And these electrodes are held in the top and the power supply, AC power supply is given to this uh, electrodes and the pressure is applied uh, from the top electrode and uh, this power is switched on, the pressure is maintained until a strong uh, weld is formed in between these two uh, metals to be joined and uh, this is the diagram here. So applications of spot welding, it can be frequently used in automobile and aircraft industries. It is used for making containers and used for fabrication of steel household furnitures. And coming to the advantages of uh, spot welding, it has low initial cost, productivity is high, and only less skilled workers uh, uh, are used to operate this uh, welding machine and you do not prepare any uh, edges to be of the metals to be welded 
and this operation may be automatic or semi-automatic. So coming to the disadvantages of uh, spot welding, uh, more thickness cannot be welded. More thickness uh, plates or materials can't be welded. Initial cost of the equipment is high. And for maintenance purpose, you require skilled labor. So with this, we come to an end to this uh, uh, introduction part. So thank you and have a 